YouTube, it's your boy Measy Mill, and I'm back today with another banger. In this video, man, I'm just gonna be showing y'all how to do the badger glitch slash the rep method. It is a very simple, and it gets you three times the amount of badge progress per my career game, and it gets you double rep for that one my career game that you play. If you have a job, if you work, if you are in school or something. Well, now it's summer, but you know, some people take summer classes, it's fine. But if you don't have the amount of time, I think this would be the best best method for you. But if you have the time to grind, why not grind? I, I feel that this could make it go by a little bit faster, but at the same time, it will be more beneficial if you have the time to grind, to grind. Now. Whenever you play your My Career game, you just want to load up, play it regular like you normally would on any other My Career game. Whenever you're wrapping up your badges or just playing for rep. This is mainly for badge glitch because if you play for rep, you only get rep one time every 24 hours for that one game that you play. So, yeah, whenever you're done with your game, you just want to save and quit. And go whenever it takes you back to the home screen make sure you quit out of the app and you're good to go this starts off your glitch this is the first step of the glitch very simple just save and quit go to your, whenever you get back to the home screen of my career just quit out now when you get back into the game what you want to do is you want to sim out of the game and ask make sure that it says ask out and sim with vc so you get your rep now Whenever you loading up your badges, you can see to make sure that this stays on track. My assists are four assists for 400 points. As soon as you see that the total of my points earned pops up at the bottom, you want to press your home button, go down to 2K19, manage games and add-ons, scroll down to save data, go to your profile and delete from console. Make sure that you delete from console. Do not delete from everywhere because you will lose all of your my players and things like that now whenever it takes you back home to your home screen you can load back into 2k19 it'll bring you back to the same exact game now step two is a little bit different whenever you sim out you want to wait until you get back into your locker room and as soon as you get to your locker room you want to press go to the neighborhood now as you can see my Dahmer has went up to 800 and I'm still playing the same my career game the whole entire time. See, this is a very simple badge glitch and you will indeed get three times the amount of XP for your badges. Now, whenever you get back, go to the neighborhood. Whenever you load into the neighborhood, go right to the Gatorade training facility. You have to do this. There's no way around it. You have to wait a minute. Well, actually 45 seconds while doing this. You don't actually have to do the balancing ball, but why not? You're just sitting there. You don't have nothing else to do. You can listen to some music, do whatever. Whenever I'm recording videos like this, I just sit there and listen to music, try to play around with it if I feel like it. But yeah, it really doesn't matter. As soon as you get done, and you see your my points load up, you wanna be ready to press your home button. As soon as you see at the very bottom, it says total my points earned. As soon as you see that, go, to, go back to your managed games, go down to save data, go to your profile and delete from console. After enough times, you will get used to it and you can be able to do it in half a second and load back into your game and you can keep doing it over and over and over and over. After you've completed step one, you will rinse and repeat step two over and over. As soon as you sim out, go back to the training facility. 
Now, I'm in this game again. I'm loading back in. And guess what? All you do is sim out with VC. It's really that simple. And as you can tell, my badges have went up once again. And I'm still in the same Dallas Mavericks game. Now, it doesn't matter if you win or lose, but it's whatever. You can see that my diamond has went up to 800. Oh my God. Please excuse the disrespectful thunderstorm that is going on outside of my house right now. Hurricane Katrina, Hurricane Sandy, and Hurricane Irwin are both coming. All three of them are coming in at the same time, but it's not gonna stop the grind. So, like I say, my badges did go up once again. As soon as I get back to the locker room, what you want to do is go back to the Gatorade training facility. I really hope y'all can't hear that thunderstorm in the background. It's mad annoying. I don't know why it started to rain and thunderstorm as soon as I wanted to start recording this video for y'all, man. But it is what it is. I haven't posted in a week because I've been going through all kinds of technical difficulties with my computer. My Photoshop stopped working. It's been a crazy ride, but you know, we're going to keep going through the ground. We're going to stick through it, man. So as soon as you get done with this medicine ball, once again, you want to get ready. Get on your marks. Get ready and get set to go. As soon as you see that your total points pop up, go to home, press NBA 2K19, manage game add-ons, scroll down to save data, go to your profile, delete from console. And I cannot stress it enough to not delete from everywhere because I do not want anybody coming into the comment section and saying, Mike, I lost all of my players. I don't know what to do. And I'm like, well, I mean, I told y'all not to delete from everywhere. It happens. But make sure that you are focused when you do this because you do not want to take the chance to lose all of your players. Now, in the very last game of this tutorial, something actually happened that is not ordinary. I did not get subbed back into the game and I could not sim out. So instead of just going back to the neighborhood and being normal, thinking that you can go into another My Career game, if you do that and you go back to the neighborhood, after, if you do not get simmed in, you will have negative badges. So my dimer is three times the amount of what I started out with. I started with zero and I have 400 for each game. And now I have 1,200 points. You wanna go back to the neighborhood. And when you go to the neighborhood, you do indeed want to do the medicine ball the last time, just to make sure that you do not get negative badges. So you can stay make sure that everything goes smooth for you and you won't get banned now you won't get banned for doing this glitch the only way you get banned is if you post to youtube about it like i am but you know some some we take risks some don't but i'm here trying to help y'all boys out man so this glitch is really simple it's really repetitive so it may get boring for y'all boys if y'all in there just doing this glitch. So chill out, relax, pop on a movie, turn on some of my videos. I will be posting some new videos in the near future, man. Some bangers are coming out. I'm telling y'all right now, I just created a new build because I have some. I have a story to tell y'all. But I can't say it right now because it is for a later video and it's going to be popping, man. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on those post notifications to make sure that y'all are here to see when I hit the next video. I almost gave it away a little bit, but I can't, man. I'm not going to give it away, man. But as you can see, all my badges are still increased by three times the amount that I got for that one My Career game. This glitch, really good, man. I just hope that y'all enjoyed this video. And make sure to stay tuned for more videos coming out soon because I will be here trying to grind before NBA 2K20. Man, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. 
Stay tuned. Measy Mill out, man.